Well, hey guys, I hope you're having a great holiday season. Today we're going to be talking about the sale concept out of the uh, Air Raid. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that if you want to learn more about the Air Raid offense, I have a full ebook available on this offense in my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon, you're not only going to get access to that ebook, but you're actually going to get access to all 13 offensive and defensive ebooks that I have released so far in the Madden 22 season, as well as any additional ebooks that I will be releasing uh, as the years as the year goes on. All right, guys, so let's jump into this video. Like I said, we're talking today about the Arizona Air Raid offense. Now, the Air Raid offense is probably my favorite, like, real NFL or real-life offense to study. Uh, I think it actually really does translate very well to Madden um, because it's all about spacing. It's all about spreading the field and really taking advantage of space uh, to be able to make this happen. So uh, we're just going to talk today, like I said, about the sale concept, uh, the Y sale play out of the spread Y flex. And honestly, we really don't need to make any adjustments. I will give you some adjustments that you can make um, with this play to make it even better. Uh, but anyways, let's just jump into the video. So why sale out of spread Y flex in the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook? I'm going to show you how you can use this concept uh, to be able to basically beat every coverage that you're going to face uh, in Madden 22. So we're going to start with cover four drop. Basically what we've got is we've got a vertical threat uh, or a vertical pull route in the number one receiver. Number two is going to run a deep out route. Now, I want to say this really quickly. Don't underestimate this route. The reason why it is so good, there's a couple of reasons. One of the reasons this route is so good is if you think about how most people are going to play defense in Madden 22, they're going to play some type of Mabel concept uh, out of the 3-3-5 wide. So what that's practically going to mean is they're going to have a high zone and they're going to have a low zone. Now, in this quick example, what you're going to notice is this is kind of the idea, if you will. What you're going to notice in this little example is this out route to Williams uh, typically is going to not get open. And you see right there. Now, the reason why is because I'm using a cloud flat or a curl flat zone and a hard flat zone. But in ultimate team and the way that it's going to work when you're playing most of the players that you're going to be playing, those they're going to actually zone drop those zones so far back that this route will be open. OK, so I'm going to give you kind of a little a bit of a solution if you're facing kind of a standard uh, little Mabel coverage. And that is this. So what we can do uh, to make this play really, really effective is it forces them to have to take several zones to be able to guard that that uh, that route right there to the sale okay so what we can do is we can put this running back on a quick out and what's going to happen is these little flats are going to pull out and then we can just throw it right in there and then turn it up field and get a couple yards if we wanted to do something like that another way we could do this is we could actually put the running back on a vertical and then we could put the circle receiver on a smoke so this is another example of a way that you can kind of get the same basic thing, if you will, um, and maybe be a little bit more effective uh, for Madden. So uh, I'm going to show you, you'll see here with the running back route. Now what it's going to do is it's going to put some strain on their user because these flat zones are going to get pulled out right at the snap. And then I could just throw this ball right in here and get about 10 to 15 yards. That's one way you can do it if you are getting a lot of Mabel coverage. But like I said, most of the time and most of the way that people are going to play you is they're going to have a low zone to take away the quick flat and they're going to have a deep zone to take away a crosser. And that deep zone will not be able to take away this deep rounded out route because this deep rounded out route, if you look at it, it's going to go about 15 yards. And that's about in between that Mabel kind of coverage. This is a great play uh, to run in that situation. If you wanted to, um, you could go then to the corner concept here and basically recreate the same play uh, out of Y corner, and I'll show you what happens. Um, and this is just how you can kind of use the same concept if they're playing some, uh, you know, to get them to have to do what we want them to do. So we'll whip. So you see here, this is literally basically exactly the same play. OK, but now instead of an out, we have a corner that's going to get very vertical. So if you think, look here now, that flat's not going to be able to get out there. And then we can obviously Ramsey makes a great play, but we can typically get that ball in that window. OK, so that's how we're going to deal with, you know, kind of Mabel coverage, which is the most popular coverage that you're going to see. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is let's wait. Let's say that we're facing a just a basic uh, standard cover three. And I want to show you why this play is so good against cover three. What you're going to see here is we're going to put this 
curl flat defender in conflict and we can easily take that low flat against the cover three pretty much every single time now the one adjustment that i like to make and again this is to make this a little bit better in the world of madden 22 is to put the running back on an out because that's going to beat man and it's going to beat zone very very well and you're going to be able to run with a ball after the catch in my opinion one of the most devastating routes this year is this quick out to the back i really do think this is one of the better routes in the game um and what you'll see here this is cover four and as you can see we can just let it get to the sideline we get that guy failed and we're getting about 10 to 15 yards every single time and that's gonna what that's gonna do is it's gonna force them to have to play hard flats they can't cover it in man coverage they can't cover it in match coverage and they can't cover it um if their zones are not hard flats so now what you're going to see is it's a hard flat. Now, do notice I can still throw it, but it's going to get tackled, as you can see. But it is it is a hard flat. And so now what we're going to have is we're going to have this route to X. So as you see here, just like the flood play out of Gun Bunch. Just like the flood play out of Gun Bunch, really. Um, it's a little bit different, but it's still basically the same concept. Okay? So now, now we're going to work back to this backside. And this little whip route right here is really, really good. You're going to see that if they're not playing hard flats, you can basically throw it. And if they are playing hard flats, which you can do, um, let's say they're playing hard flats, but they're not really doing a, a, a lot underneath, you can see how I can just kind of snap, throw, fit it in there. That's a really unique little route. And I would really encourage you to take advantage of that route on this play. So let's go back to that Mabel concept that we're getting a lot of, and I'll talk a little bit about how we can deal with it uh, whenever our opponent is running a Mabel concept, and then they're going to take their user, and you know they're going to kind of maybe user that out route uh, on the right side because they see that that's what you're running. Well, now what's going to happen is this is where we kind of have our backside concept. So our front side, we read it, he's going to user that, but now look at this deep dig coming right over the middle of the field that we can easily catch and turn that into about a 15 to 20 yard game. So for all of these reasons, this is why the sail play is so good. It beats cover three, it beats cover four, it beats cover two, it beats every coverage in the game. Now, if you do get cover two, this is why I recommend running this with your uh, sail concept going to the wide side of the field, because what you're gonna see is if you do get a cover two, now we're gonna be able to throw this ball with an outside pass lead. I threw it a little bit too early. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you get cover two, especially if you get cover two hard flat, or even if you get, but, but if you get a cover two, what you should be able to do with this is you should have a decent chance uh, to hit this deep fade on the right side. So we'll just wait, pass lead that straight up. You might need to do a little aggressive catch, but the bottom line is just explore that concept and trust me on that one. You want to at least give that a look against cover two. Uh, sometimes it'll be more open than others, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So like, let's say they're having a soft squat or a hard flat. Now we can throw this with an outside pass lead a lot easier. Um, so, you know, just kind of experiment around a little bit with that deep fade. There is a way to throw that against cover two, um, but that's not really the, the key of the play here. Uh, again, we want to really stress this high low to the, the back and the out. So we're stressing there. And then on this back side, we're stressing this dig, which can basically be thrown against pretty much any coverage in the game. They're going to have to use the dig, but in some ways they're still going to have to use this flood or this, it's not flood, but the sail uh, route to the right. Okay, and then as you can see, if they're backing off, then we can easily just check down, check down, check down to the back. And in air raid offense, what they're really good at, the best air raid offenses, they actually throw the ball to the running back a lot. So I would encourage you, if you're ever having trouble with this concept, it might be because you're not throwing the ball to the running back that much. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to check out the rest of the air raid offense, there's a link in the description below that'll take you over to the Patreon membership. You can sign up today for the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. And again, by joining the Patreon, you're not only going to get access to the air raid ebook, you're also going to get access to every Madden 22 offensive and defensive guide that I've produced and every guide that I'm going to produce in the future. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.